Hello, I'm Rebecca of Pocket Full of Posies. Today's projects are some fun Regency accessories. <laughs> I made a Regency sleeveless spencer as well as a little reticule. I'm excited to share these little projects with you, so without further ado, let's get to it. Here we go! For my spencer, I used this purple silk tissue taffeta and purple cotton for the lining. I cut my pieces out of both fabrics. Then I gave all the pieces an ironing. I began pinning the lining pieces together. Then I went to the machine and sewed the lining pieces together. The bottom fabric got bunched up on one of the curved seams, so seam ripping time. Fixed it and ironed the seams toward the side pieces. Then I marked the stitch line. The next step in the instructions was to pin and baste the back and front pieces, outer fabric, to the lining. Then I turned the seam allowance to the inside and pinned the side pieces over the raw edges of the back and front seams. I trimmed the outer fabric by a quarter inch. Then I turned the edges of the fashion fabric to the inside so the folded edge is a little wider than the lining. I sewed the side pieces in place. Next, I secured the folded edges of the fashion fabric and the lining. I took it to the machine and sewed the shoulder seams of the lining right sides together. Then I folded the silk over the lining at the shoulders, covering the raw edges. I sewed them in place. Close 
closure time! I used hooks and eyes and marked where I wanted them to go. Then I sewed the hooks and eyes in. I wanted a bit of whimsy, so I added trim to the neckline. I pinned it in place and put it on Freya to check. Hercules got some pets before I started sewing the trim on. When I received the trim, the cellar included two flowers, so I added them to the front. On to the reticule. I used a free pattern from the Pragmatic Costumer, link below. I pinned and cut it out of silk and lining. I played around with the trim a little and then I sewed the trim on the silk. I pinned the lining to the silk right sides together. Next, I sewed around the top edges. I trimmed the corners and turned it right side out. I also turned the seam allowances toward the inside of the pieces and ironed them. I then sewed the drawstring channels with Lucius. I realized at this point that I printed the pattern wrong and it would not fit my phone. <laughs> oh well. I cut the seam allowance open under the casing line. Then I place the two sides together, right sides together. I sewed the two sides together and trimmed the seam allowance and zigzagged the raw edges. Then I turned it out. Next, I inserted the drawstring. Then I tied the ends of the drawstring together. And 
it was done. These two projects were a lot of fun and I think they look lovely with my pink dress. I'm very happy with my Regency Ensemble. <laughs> So something super exciting happened. We reached 5,000 subscribers on this channel and I've been doing this channel for a little over a year. I think a year and a month and a half or something like that. So that's very, very exciting. And so I would like to do another giveaway in celebration of 5,000 subscribers. So the, the giveaways I did in the past were pattern giveaways and I gave away different patterns. And this time I wanted to do it a little bit differently. So I've decided that I'm going to give away two patterns and I also want to have the winner pick what patterns they want. So I'm going to be giving away a pa two patterns from Truly Victorian or Black Snail patterns or one of both. So once the giveaway has concluded I will get your address and everything and I will just have them shipped directly to you from Truly Victorian or Black Snail Patterns or both. So the rules are there are no rules now. <laughs> the rules are this is open to any of my subscribers all you need to do is comment below on this video with pattern before 12 a.m. Central Standard Time on March 11th. The video will come out on March 12th and I will choose a random winner on March 11th. So good luck everyone and thank you again. I'm so excited. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you spending your time with me. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Subscribe if you haven't. If you'd like to be notified whenever I upload, you can hit that bell icon and also comment down below with any questions or thoughts on these little Regency accessories. If you'd like to support the channel any further, I have a coffee account and that is linked down below. I will see you again on our next sewing adventure. Bye.